Welcome to Echoes of the Past and thank you for being here. I'm Andy and today I'm going to cover checking the torque on wheel nuts or bolts, something my dad taught me how to do many years ago. This is something any DIY can do, can save a trip to the garage, so I thought I should share the knowledge. It is good practice to retalk your wheel nuts or bolts or lug nuts as the Americans call them uh, 50 miles after you've had the wheels removed either for uh, regular service or tire replacement. To retalk your nuts and bolts, uh, nuts or bolts, um, use a torque wrench which is what this is. Um, the torque wrench measures how much effort there's been put into tightening up a nut or a bolt. Wheel nuts or bolts are typically around about 80 uh, pound, uh, foot pounds or uh, 100 uh, newton meters uh, torque. So the first thing you do is you, this is, uh, you get your torque wrench and you check the settings on it uh, and you adjust it to suit the torque that you are tightening your nuts or bolts to. So 80 foot-pounds, I work in foot-pounds, 100 newton meters or 108 newton meters technically. Uh, you just turn this knob at the end until it, until it lines up with the numbers on the side. So we're looking at about 108, so that's about there. Okay. There is a correct order in which you need to torque your wheel nuts. And I always use the locking nut or bolt as a reference point. If it's a, a four bolt pattern, it's a lot easier because you just do them diagonally. But on a five stud arrangement, it's a little bit more complex. A six stud is, is, is as simple as um, four stud because it's an even number but I normally start there go there go there go there and then fi finally finish off there and then for good measure I do a quick circle to make sure that I've not missed one so starting off with the locking nut it's always a good idea to make sure that the locking nut is seated because the last thing you want to do is have it slip and get damaged and then it's as simple as putting your torque wrench on and pulling it till it goes click there we go that's torqued simple as that so we'll do this one next that's torqued the job done. Now the reason for torquing wheel nuts and bolts after 50 miles is the safety thing. After you've driven that length of distance uh, with expansion and contraction, wheel bolts and, and nuts stretch, uh, the mag changes shape slightly, so in the retorquing make sure that the wheel nuts or bolts stay tight and you haven't got the risk of one or more working loose and the wheel falling off. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. I hope this helps. Andy out.